Man, shut yeah. the fuck up, yeah. motherfucker! I'm telling you, goddamn shit. Fuck you, fucking goddamn it! All right, here we go. Another video. Another video. We'll get back to it. Another fucking video. Yeah, you got this fucking uh, YouTube channel motherfucking monetized. But every time I post up a goddamn video, since there's too much fucking cussing, I can't monetize any shit. And then I did a video recently, try to cut down the bad words. Man, fuck that! It's not even fucking uh, sincere when I do that shit. I watch that fucking video, it sounds like shit. Oh, hey, the next fucking... Man, fuck that! We're going back to the old school fucking shit, talking filthy every fucking word. So anyway, today we're going to talk about it. You know, what is the fucking greatest uh, black metal album of all time? So yeah, that's a, a subjective uh, opinion, if you will. A lot of people say a lot of different things. And these days, there has been a shitload of good fucking releases. Everything from the early stuff, the first wave, even to stuff coming out now. It's still good. All you old fuckers. Yeah, me too, but you old motherfuckers know it's only the old stuff is good. Now, fuck that shit. There's good shit coming out right motherfucking now. Not just fucking shit in 84. I mean, I like that too, but there's stuff that's new coming out now. It's just, I fucking love too, so... We're gonna talk about it and do a fucking uh, panel here with this fucking puppet motherfucker. What do you think about it? I mean, wait. wait. Well, first off, I'm finally getting to talk on this fucking shit. As far as best black metal, I like Satan. Well, that doesn't fucking tell me a lot. No shit, you like Satan, motherfucker. I mean, for me offhand, I mean, the cliche answer, people say Bathory or Venom. For me offhand, I have to say Bathory under the sign of a black mark. That's uh, the first Bathory album I heard before, and I talked about it before on here. So, shut the fuck up! Yeah, bitch. The best battery album is The Return to Darkness and Eva! No shit. Well, yeah, I like The Return also, but as far as just pure brutality and black metal ish, I, I, Under the Sign is for me the greatest. I love the fucking album. Uh, Shut the fuck up! Can I fucking talk? It's, it is it is one of the best. I mean, the, the return is good. I like the self-titled and also Bloodfire Death. Also fucking great albums, too. You know it? What? Bloodfire Death is a Viking album. Viking album. Shut the fuck up. That's a black metal album. I don't give a fuck. Hammerheart and the shit after his Viking metal fucking light. You know this fucking light's always turning the fuck off. I got fuck this. Viking, it's not Viking, it's fucking black metal. If you ask me the first four black fucking metal. It, and also, you know, people talk about the uh, uh, Mayhem Mysterious, the first album, or the Bur Bursum albums, and all this shit. Those are really good albums to me, but I don't feel like it's the greatest. Again, my choice is uh, Bathory Beyond, or not Beyond, Beyond the Black Rainbow, no fucker, it's a movie. Great movie, though. But, uh, yeah, under the sign of Black Mark. Fuck you, bitch. I like Mayhem Live at Leipzig. You, 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 God damn. That's a fucking live album. I mean, I guess you could call it an album. It's not a full length, man. F shut the fuck up, you blue piece of shit. You know, there's a lot. There's a lot of people that also like dissection. You know, the first couple albums are really, really fucking good. I'm still, though, I, I, I am not a. This sounds fucked up. I'm not a huge dissection fan. Not that I don't like them. I do like their music. There's just other bands I go to before them. I, I, I go to, but. Dissection is murder. They are evil. 
No shit. See, you like them because they fucking murder. It will fucking, fucking man, will go over there and break your goddamn neck. And then you, and then you have the uh, Dark Throne, you know. It, the first album was Death Metal, which everybody, I've talked about this before. I liked the first album, and I was kind of pissed when they switched over to Black Metal, but it was under, under the Funeral Moon, Transylvania Hunger, that, that shit, Northern Sky. It's good, solid fucking Black Metal. I even like the other stuff, too. Hate Them, stuff after that. Um, Panzerfaust is pretty fucking good. Speak up! God damn, I like demo! Yeah! Fuck you! Bitch! Fuck you! Now that, that doesn't tell me shit. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? You fucking tell me fuck you? We're talking about the fucking albums. You like Dead Throne? What do you think about them? I like them. I don't think it's the greatest, but it's for, in terms of the... Uh, of all time, but I feel like it rates up there pretty high, though. Those uh, second, third, and fourth albums, they r rank up there pretty fucking high, though. I still don't, never get tired of them. I know people complain about Dark Throne doing all this different weird shit. Are all their albums in my... What? Say it! Say it! I like Circle of the Wagon. I hate them. No shit! Evil fucking Satan! Hi, Barry! Barry doesn't give a shit about you, motherfucker! But yeah, the uh, early Dark Throne stuff, pretty solid shit. I still love it, you know? And going back to the point of a lot of people talk shit about them changing all kinds of different styles. I am not, I am not a fan of everything they put out. I don't think none of it sucks, but... I like the, obviously, the black metal stuff earlier the best, but, they, I mean, the recent albums are pretty good. I mean, they're not horrible. They're just not my favorite. No, they should be evil black metal. I don't. I wipe my ass with CD, and I am a fucking motherfucker. You're a fucking motherfucker, man. You're, that's fucking intelligent shit right there. Why the fuck did not? I should have got somebody else on here to do this uh, talk. This fucking moron doesn't know shit. Drew Sprung should have got your fucking ass on here. El Necron, somebody else. This fucking motherfucker, we know what the fuck he's talking about. Historically speaking, uh, Profanatica does, would fit in here as far as, I mean, early stuff was mostly EPs and demos, but that's pretty fucking crucial, especially in American black metal. The early EP, Seven Inches Weeping in Heaven and whatnot. And for me, how I first heard of Propanatica, it was uh, in Wild Rag, the Wild Rag zine. They had a picture of motherfucker's neck and blood all over him. I was like, man, I gotta find out about this shit. So, Propanatica, as far as the greatest of all time, no, but they are historically wise and the way the sound is, it's very uh, influential and that chaotic sound, I, I, they're, they're not a war metal band. They're not. But that dark, dark, dirty fucking bah, 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 bah sound they have, I feel it was influential to that uh, genre, if you will. You know, I, I guarantee you Blasphemy was listening to that shit back then. You know, it's pretty fucking good. And talking about Blasphemy, um, Fallen Angel of Doom, I pulled that pretty high up there as far as one of the greatest black metal albums of all time. Um, my opinions change on that, but if I put them in an order, uh, a top 10 albums of all time, I would put that as number two, Fallen Angel of Doom. Somebody might say, oh man, fuck that, man, but then a black metal should be there. Uh, hey, motherfucker, I listen to Fallen Angel of Doom a lot more than I listen to Venom. That's just how it is. At, when I first heard that, I bought that cassette, that Wild Rags cassette, got it. Said, man, this is fucking great. Dark, evil shit. Uh, and don't get me wrong, I do like Venom, especially Welcome to Hell is my favorite one. I, li I like it better than uh, black metal for sure. What, what do you think, motherfucker? Say it! I know you want to talk. That, when it comes to Venom, I like Possessed. Possessed the album or the band? I'm sure you, I know you're meaning the album probably, but you stupid fuck, you keep 
not making any goddamn sense. It is cool because I have kids with venom shirts. I like that. It is cool. Fuck you! Man, that's a fucking great answer, man. Fucking walking encyclopedia of knowledge over there, man. Motherfucker. Fucking professor over there. Professor of evil. I would say the Herod is one of the best. I love the Herod. Yeah! <laughs> no shit. I do too. Drawing down the moon, uh, lo a lot of people like it, but for me, I like Oath of the Black Blood better, even though I know it's not a fucking full length. It's a compilation that uh, JL America threw together without, without the band's permission. But I love that that release, the cover, the artwork on there with a four skeleton ghoul standing there, and the music is just so unhinged and raw. I, that is my go-to thing. And and here's a plug for Nuclear War. Now everybody knows the motherfuckers, but. That, uh, the reissues they put out of those two, first two Beharian albums, 12 inches, if you motherfuckers don't have that, you need it. Because the layout is fucking fantastic. Both those albums already had them before, but I bought the reissues on Nuclear War now just because they're so fucking good. They come with a 12 inch booklet, old classic pictures and stuff. A, A, A plus on that shit. Uh, but Oath of Black Blood, historical, wouldn't say it's a, the most important or it's it's important but not the best but still i play at church be here at sodomy and motherfucker yeah. fucking load of information there motherfucker all right you get a goddamn knife and slap the shit out of you with it there's also uh emperor very uh influential uh Honestly, they're not my favorite band or favorite. I mean, I do like some symphonic black metal. I got to be in the mood for it. And same thing with uh, uh, Emperor. Very good stuff. Uh, Nightside Eclipse is a good fucking album. But honestly, Wrath of the Tyrant demo by Emperor is what I listen to the most by them. It really is. I love that. And their first EP. Shut the fuck up! You shut the fucking bitch! Fuck you! You motherfucker! Let me go! Hey, shut the fuck up, motherfucker! I'm tired of you goddamn shit! Fuck you! Fucking goddamn it! Shut the fuck up! I thought we were gonna have a goddamn discussion, not a fucking argument! Alright, goddamn, um... Also, uh, Bestial Warlust is another band. And of course, that's later. They came out in the mid to late 90s. But still, Blood and Valor, I remember when I bought that album. So fucking good. That was the old days. You didn't have internet. You don't hear shit. So I just saw the band, the, the cover. I said, I'm buying this shit. Got it. And I was uh, very happy. Blood and Valor and the other stuff. The album before that's very fucking good. Not the best of all time, but it is pretty fucking important. You know? Hey, hey, Valor. I go onto the battlefield and slay motherfuckers. With my strength, I'm telling you, shut the fuck up! Enough, you cocksuck motherfucker! Enough of this shit! Yeah, as far as uh, the best of all, shut the fuck up! Stay over there! Come in, what are you, what's your fucking top ten, motherfuckers? I know, all, I know you all have good taste, everybody's always recommending me good fucking bands, so you tell me, what do you think? Do you think you agree with my choice of the top one, or you think something's better? Do you think fucking, uh, uh, Cradle of Filth, <laughs> it's fucking better. Fuck it. Let me see in the comments. I don't know. I'm curious what you fuckers think.